So it's laundry day. Um, I've got some soap. And uh, this is recycled water. I know that's gross, <laughs> but I already had laundry in here. So, you know, I put some soap in here <laughs> and then laundry. And if you look, this says dirty bag <laughs> right on it. <laughs> put this in, seal and then rinse cycle. You're going into town today, you gotta look presentable. My man, gotta smell presentable. <laughs> <laughs> APT Superman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the big moment is finally here. Amy just dropped us off and we are about to walk into Drake Park, which is where everybody's gonna be meeting Rue. Hi. <laughs> Things are kind of tense. It's an exciting <laughs> moment right now. This is like three years in the making for Rue. Yeah, <laughs> well said. <laughs> We're gonna be in Drake Park in an hour. All right. I'm finishing today. They probably were thinking I'm finishing the Pacific Crest. <laughs> yeah. Hi, American Perimeter Trail. I'm completing it right now. What does that mean? We're all about conservation. Yeah. So. Wow. That's, wow. That's the it's heart. It's a privilege of it. to meet you. I hope you know that. Wow. Thank you. I'm yeah. honored. It's my privilege to meet a neighbor. <laughs> yeah, I gave up everything to do this. I'm. I'm basically coming in here with a dollar in my pocket, and you know, Ben looks different. It's not just the, it's not just that there's like new developments going up and new stores and new breweries and that it's um, that my eyes are different. I'm seeing through a different lens. My heart is like in my throat. It like hurts to swallow. My mouth is dry. My lips are getting chapped. My eyes are watering. I made it to the bridge at the ending point and we are just waiting for Rue. I've got the drone ready to go. We've got, we've got people showing up. Um, Rue is probably about five, six minutes out. Do you want a minute? Yeah, I need a minute. It's all right. I'm ready. He had gotten very, very sick leaving Ben and he was asking for help. I took him home to my house and then I took all this stuff and put it in the laundry and I put him in my brand new walk-in bathtub. Rue fell in love with me. <laughs> I know I get the credit, but let's not pretend. This was many hands making much work into small little biscuits that I could, you know, swallow. I have a lot of emotions right now and I'm not sure what to feel. A couple weeks ago I was done with this. This morning I wanted to keep going. Let's celebrate and then there's work to do. Let's build it. Thank you everyone. Thank you. December 2019 comes and he posts this picture of his tarp and there's this 
big long caption with it that talks about having a back injury. So I sent him a message and I said, look, like, I'm a physical therapist. What's going on with your back injury? I can coach you through this virtually. And he got back to me and told me what was going on and we just worked through it. From there, that's how I got involved. We just finished up Layla's interview, which uh, was a long interview because she has been with Rue almost the whole way, basically since he was in Texas. And they are graciously letting us uh, come in here, charge stuff, shower. It's, it's probably been almost two weeks since we've had a shower and we are gross. And, and I think we'll be heading home tomorrow sometime. We are not getting paid to make this movie. We're fundraising to try and cover expenses. We're trying to keep things as cheap as possible. Uh, we've been basically living like hikers, just out of the car, uh, since we've been working on this project. We're happy to do this, because it is fun. It's exciting work, and it's meaningful work. This is the kind of work that I want to be doing with my life. And as long as we can do this and still make ends meet, we're happy. Today is the last day of our trip out here in Oregon. It's day 13. I had to look at the calendar and look it up because I have completely lost track. Amy is currently making extra room in the car because Rue is going to come home with us. <laughs> After we finish the APT, um, he has dedicated everything to that project. Literally everything. He's coming back with basically no money and no possessions, no car, no place to live or anything. And we have a little bit of extra space at our house, so we offered for him to come home with us. So that's what he's going to do for a little bit until he can figure out what, what his next step is. He's got a lot of work to do. So we're packing up camp and then we'll be heading home. It's about a 14 hour drive and we're going to break it up into two days. The middle of October now and it has been a super busy summer for us. So from here on out we're going to be at home doing a lot of editing. This is kind of like the next phase of all of these projects that we've been working on. So I think we're looking forward to being home for a while. <laughs>